so much to learn about It'll make you want to shout Blippi! <laughs> hey! It's me, Blippi! And today I'm at Moxie in Santa Barbara, California! Yeah, it's a really cool children's museum of exploration and innovation! So today you and I are going to learn a lot about science. Yeah, maybe some stuff like hearing? Yeah! Sound? Whoa! And speed? Whoa! Slow! Fast! <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun! Come on! <laughs> what are you doing? Come on! Come here! <laughs> Come on! Hello! Whoa! Check it out! This is a massive guitar! Whoa! Cool! Yeah! Have you ever seen someone play a guitar before? Yeah! Yeah! Guitars are so cool! Ooh, and when you strum the strings, it makes a noise. Hey, let's listen! All right, here we go. Tighten this up. <laughs> Little loud of tune, but it still sounds really cool. All right, now let me move this up. Yeah. And when I move it up, it'll tighten the strings. Whoa! 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 Which effectively makes it tighter and shorter. And now listen to how it sounds. Whoa! Higher pitch! Cool! Let's keep exploring. Whoa! What's this? Whoa! Another guitar right here and more strings. Pretty low, but watch this. I'll put my foot right here to tighten it out. Now listen. Whoa, that sounds a lot better. And watch this. Whoa, I spin this drum and check out the strings. You can actually see the wavelengths. Basically. Did you see that? Check it out a little closer. Who are you? Hi, I'm Simon. Oh, nice to meet you, Simon. I'm Blippi. What are you doing here? Well, this is our sound machine. Sound machine doesn't look like a sound machine. It looks like a table. Well, I got these special little squares with some shapes on them that make some sound for you. Whoa, that sounds like a guitar. I just played the guitar over there. I wonder what this does. Whoa, every single shape has a different instrument. And now Simon and I just made a really cool song. All right, let's see. Whoa! I think we should have a dance party. Are you up for it? Sure. Come on, let's go! is the innovation workshop. Innovation means when you take something old and you make it new or you make it way better. This is gonna be so much fun. I wonder what we're gonna make. Let's go. Cool, the innovation workshop. Wow, look at this place. This is fun. Whoa, it looks like a car. Whoa, cool. Oh, look right here. Looks like some compact Discs, CDs, yeah. Back in the old days, people used to use these to play music and movies. <laughs> All right. Ooh, some bubble wrap. Listen to this. <laughs> Whoa, what else do we have here? Ooh, rubber bands. I like rubber bands. <laughs> Hope we get to make a craft with some rubber bands. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> Whoa, there's someone right over there. Oh, hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Kevin. Oh, nice to meet you, Kevin. I'm Blippi. What do you do here? Well, I build stuff in the innovation workshop. Oh, how cool. Well, I'm very excited. What are we gonna build today? Today, we're building a rubber band powered car. Whoa, cool. Can I check it out? Definitely. Whoa, a rubber band powered car. 
Yeah, rubber bands in a car. So this gets propelled by the power of a rubber band? Exactly. Whoa, cool, how do you do it? So, uh, do you wanna see it go first? Oh yeah, yeah let's, <laughs> let's do, do that. All right, so first you pull the rubber band back. Okay. And then I'm gonna twist the wheel three times, ready? Yep, one, one two, two three. three. And then we let it go. Whoa, that was really cool. Pretty cool, right? All right, I am very excited. Let's do this. First step is to build the body of our cars. Okay. We're gonna make a little triangle out of these wooden sticks. Okay. By putting a brass brad through the hole. Okay, there we go, make a triangle. Look at that, looks like a triangle. Perfect, and then <laughs> we have a body of our car like this one. Okay, that makes sense. Now, we've gotta make something to hold our wheels. The wheels are held by an axle. Oh yeah, just like normal cars and trucks on the road, they have a piece of metal that goes from one wheel to the other to hold them to the body of the car. Exactly, cool. so we're gonna use a straw to hold our axle to the body of our car. Oh, cool. So we've got some straws and then a wooden stick. Okay. And we're gonna use hot glue to attach it now. Oh, okay, all right. So before we use hot glue, we gotta put on our heat resistant gloves so we don't hurt our fingers. Okay, wow. Safety first. <laughs> hot glue is definitely something that only grown-ups should use because this is very, very hot. And that's why we're wearing this, these gloves. Yeah, even grown-ups have to be careful. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So now we're gonna put our wheels on the back here. Okay. So let's put the big wheels on the back so it goes really fast. Oh yeah. Stick it through the hole there. Okay, so you put a piece of wood between these? Right. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Wow. Nice. <laughs> All right. Here, here's one wheel and tire. There we go. And then, oh, yours looks really good. Looks like half a car. Yeah, it does. Whoa, cool. Wow. And same thing. <laughs> All right. The front, we're gonna put the axle through. Okay. Get it through. And for the front, we've got little wheels to put on. Okay. That makes sense. Big wheels in the back for more traction, and then little wheels in the front for great steering. <laughs> Whoa, now it definitely looks like a car. Look at this. <laughs> So we're just missing the last piece, which is our rubber band to make it go. Oh, all right. So to wrap the rubber band around, we need a little piece of wood on our back axle. All right. That looks good. Now, are we ready? We're ready to add our rubber band. All right. This has to dry for a little bit. So when we wait for that to dry, we'll add our rubber bands. All right, let's wait for it to dry. <laughs> All right, I think it's about dry, right? Yep, mine's dry. Perfect, all right. Well, how do we do the rubber band? Let's add our rubber band. We're gonna attach it to the front of our car. Okay. By putting it around that brass brad, the shiny thing. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Is yours attached like that? Yep, it right. is. And now we do that last step where we wrap it around the back. Okay, and I do remember three rotations. That's right. You ready? One, One. Oh. <laughs> two, three. All right, mine is ready. Are you ready to race? I'm ready to race. All right. Oh. Almost. <laughs> ready? And on your marks. Uh-oh. <laughs> Get set, go. go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try that again. All right, here I go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh. wow. Well, Sometimes we have to embrace our failure. Exactly. It didn't work today. <laughs> yeah. So maybe if we sit here for a while and then we figure out what went wrong, then we can improve on it. And then they will go super fast like this one. Let's try that one again. Let's that try one it worked. again. <laughs> Whoa. And look at this one. Wow. This is still a rubber band powered car? That's still a rubber band powered car. It works the same way. All right. I'll try this one. Okay, ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go! Whoa, you that won. worked. Good job. <laughs> nice well, race. thank you so much for teaching us how to make a rubber band powered car. <laughs> Thanks for building with me. All right, I'm gonna keep exploring. Okay. So, see you later. Have fun. Bye bye. Did you see this car? 
Wow, it looks so fast. Yeah, it has wheels and tires. Ooh, and it has a green front, a blue middle. Yeah, and then a yellow back. Whoa, look in here. Looks like a lot of parts of cars. Hey, why don't we make a car? Whoa, all right. Looks like we have a lot of parts to choose from. All right, let's see. Ooh, we have some black wheels and tires. Ooh, and some green wheels and tires. Okay, so let's pick a body. Whoa, look, we have some long bodies. We have some short bodies. Ooh, I think, yeah, right here. Yeah, and that one had a short body. So let's pick a long body. And look, my two favorite colors. I wish I could just use both, but I need to pick one. Let's pick orange. Okay, and then we need a front and a back. Let's see here. Why don't I use a blue front? Yeah, oh, and we can use a blue back. There we go. Doesn't that look good? <laughs> yeah, all right. Now we need to pick our wheels and tires. We have the green big ones and the black small ones. So now we have two black wheels and tires and two green wheels and tires. All right, let's compare these two. All right, so the one we made is definitely longer. It also has green wheels and tires while this one doesn't. Hmm, hey, look, looks like there's a scale. All right, we can weigh them and see what one's heavier. All right, this one says one pound, three ounces. All right, let's see what this one says. One pound, five ounces. So that means this one is heavier. Wow, I wish there's a place where we could race them at. <gasps> Whoa, look! Wow, a racetrack. Whoa! And look at these. You can raise and lower the track. Come check it out. Wow, see this? Wow, that looks pretty good. All right, maybe we can race them and see which one's faster. Okay, here you go. On your marks. There you go. There you go. All right, here we go. Whoa, they're going to the top. So then gravity will pull them down. I wonder who's gonna win. <gasps> there they go, three, two, one, go! <gasps> we did such a great job building the faster car. Yeah, faster, slower, that's speed. Whoa, cool, yeah. Whoa, now we're on the roof of the museum. Whoa, look at this. Looks like a lot of black pipes. Oh, nothing inside. Hey, what are these doing here? Looks like the bottom of some shoes. Whoa, we have orange, we have green, we have blue, and we have purple. Hey, I have an idea. Huh, not really doing anything. Did you hear that? Yeah, look down here. Kinda of sounds like musical instruments. Yeah, when I hit these sandal or parts of a shoe on this pipe, it then pushes air out here. And dependent on the height of the tubes, it makes different sounds. All right, let's hear it again. <laughs> A great idea. Let's hit that bass line and let's make some music with these tubes. Woo! Woo! Wasn't that so much fun? Yeah! I love science! It was so much fun learning about sounds with you. Did you hear that? Yeah! And I sure do love dancing. 
Woo! Yeah! You got some pretty great dance skills yourself! Oh, and you can't forget about the cars. Yeah! Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah! B-L-I-P-P-I. Flippy. Good job. See you soon. Bye. me, Blippi. And look at where I'm at. Yeah, I'm at a marina. Yeah, marinas are a body of water where a bunch of boats live. Oh, that's so cool. But hey, check this out. Wow. Today, we're at the Marine Life Center in Bellingham, Washington. And you and I are going to learn a lot about some cool creatures and fish. Yeah, I love fish. Woohoo, let's go. Who are you? Hi, my name's Casey. Oh, Who are you? Nice to meet you, Casey. I'm Flippy. What are you doing? Oh, I'm painting a picture of some of my ocean friends on the ceiling here. Wow. Are those sharks right there? They sure are. They're dog sharks. Oh, that's cool. Well, it's a very good painting. But hey, do you mind if I go explore the marine life center? Please do. <laughs> wow. Check this place out. Wow, this is going to be so much fun learning about marine life. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, do you see that? That is a skate. Yeah, it's hard to see because it blends in so good with the rock surrounding it. Yeah, just like how I kind of blend in with this creature right here because we're both the color orange, the skate blends in with the rocks. And that is called camouflage. Whoa! Yeah, that helps keep it safe from its predators. Whoa! Whoa! Check out this tank. Oh, looks like there's some cute fish in there. Hello! Hey! Wow! They're just swimming around and they look like they are having fun. Oh, what else is in here? Oh, looks like some seaweed and some rocks. Yeah, Casey says there's actually an eel in here. Whoa, and she's going to come feed it. Yeah. Hey, Blippi, did you find the wolf eel? She's hiding inside of her den. Sometimes, if she's hungry, she'll come out and say hello. It looks like she has a grumpy face, but she's actually my friend. Sometimes she likes belly rubs and treats. Her favorite is shrimp. Let's see if we can get her to eat. Cool animals in here. I love all these creatures. Whoa, check it out. Wow, inside this tote, there is a kelp crab. Whoa, do you see him? Whoa, look at him. Here, let me move this piece of kelp. Whoa, there he is. Whoa, the cool thing about this kelp crab, yeah, is it's camouflage. Yeah, he camouflages by eating things. If he starts to eat things that are light brown, then he starts to turn light brown himself. Or if he eats things that are dark brown, like this piece of kelp, then he blends in to that dark brown piece of kelp. Whoa, so cool. Oh, look, a shrimp. Hello, shrimp. You are so cute. You want to be pet? Yep, there you go. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Oh, it is so cute. Hey. Speaking of shrimp, check this out. Whoa, doesn't that look like a shrimp? Yeah, it looks like the shell of the shrimp. Wow, yeah, shrimp and crab, they do what's called molt. Yeah, that's where the outside of them, their shell, yeah, comes off of them. And this, whoa, <laughs> this is just a shrimp shell because it came off the shrimp. <laughs> Look at these critters. Wow. These are both hermit crabs. Whoa. Yeah, they're crabs that are inside shells. Whoa. Check out what happens when I pick it up. It's going to go inside the shell. 
All right. Whoa! Did you see that? Whoa! Yeah! It used to be outside the shell, but now it's inside the shell to protect itself. Okay, I'm gonna gently put it back right there. Whoa! Look at this tank! Looks like there's some crabs in here, some fish. There's a lot of cool things in here. A lot of seaweed. Oh, do you see all those fish down there? Hello, fish! Hey! Are you hungry? Yeah! Hey, check it out. Looks like I have some yummy food for these fish. Yeah, this is actually nutrient-dense food for the fish. Yeah, it's just like you and I eating vegetables, basically. Oh, <laughs> really good for us. All right, here you go, fish. All right, all right. all of these shells. They are so pretty. This one is so big. Look at it. Whoa. It's almost as big as my hand. Wow. Okay. Whoa. And this one is so shiny. Wow. Oh. And this one is so pokey. <laughs> wow. Oh. Here's another pokey one. But those are little teeny pokes. <laughs> Whoa, that is so cool. Oh, hey, what's this doing here? Look, it's a stuffed animal. And this stuffed animal is a stingray. Wee, wee. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we explore this area and see if we can find any more stuffed animals? <laughs> oh, check it out. A giant sea turtle. Whoa, sea turtles are so cool. They're so graceful, just swimming in the water. Flapping, flapping, flapping. <laughs> that is so cute. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We have two salmon. Whoa, looks like one is spawning and the other one is not. Whoa, look at salmon go. Wow, salmon are some cool fish. They get so Big! Yeah, these would be small salmon in the wild. Okay, let me set them right over here so they don't fall in there. Whoa! A giant sea lion! Well, this one would be really teeny, but sea lions get so big! And they make the sound... Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> that is so silly. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> okay put you back right there. Whoa, you found another one. Wow, a giant clam. Look, it's like a hard shell. Yeah. Whoa, look, it opened up. And do you see what's inside? Yeah, we found a pearl. Whoa, that is so pretty. Whoa, so shiny. <laughs> I actually heard pearls get created from irritation. I think that's true. Whoa, look down here. Whoa, another shell. Yeah, this is a hermit crab. Yeah, check it out. See a crab? And then it actually goes inside its shell for protection, see? Yeah, it goes like this on the ground. And then it opens up. And then it crawls around. And then it goes inside. <laughs> okay, we'll keep you right there. Here you go. <laughs> Whoa, another one. Yeah, this is a fish. And do you see how flat it is? Yeah, it lays down flat. Its two eyes are on top of its body. Yeah, and it just hangs out on the bottom of the seafloor. And this is a halibut. And halibuts can get so big. Yeah, this one would be a small one. <laughs> Whoa, this is so cute. <laughs> Do you know what kind of animal this is? Yay! Yay! Yeah, that's a hint. Yeah, this is a seahorse. Yeah, it looks kind of like a horse, huh? Oh, cute swirly little tail. And look at what it has right in its little pouch. Little 
baby seahorses. Hey, wow, you're so colorful. Whoa. Okay, okay, let's see. Whoa, a couple more. Yeah, check this out. A killer whale. Yeah, an orca. Wow, they are so cute. Wow, an octopus. Octopuses are so smart. Yeah, and they have eight long tentacles. Woo! With suckers on the bottom to hold on to things. Okay, there you go. <laughs> oh, looks like we have some whales right here. Oh, whales can get so big. They get massive and they breathe air. They go and then suck in air and they can go underwater and stay underwater for so long. Oh, hey, look, a beluga whale. Wow, it's so bright and white. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks like snow. <laughs> yeah, beluga whales actually love to be in really cold, frigid water. And by golly, we have a lot of crabs in here today. Yeah, we do. There are so many of them. What kind of crabs are these? These are called graceful or slender crabs, and they look a lot like a Dungeness crab. Have yeah. you ever seen a Dungeness before? Yeah, aren't they a little bigger than that? They sure are. Yeah. These are almost fully grown. Whoa. Can we take one out and see it a little closer? Even better, we could probably take two and figure out which one's a boy and which one's a girl. Okay, that sounds like fun. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> we just got two crabs in here. All right. Okay, how do you tell if it's a boy or a girl on these? Oh, well, that's a great question. I get that a lot. So I like to start with the female crab, the girl crab. And we look at her belly. We flip her over gently on her back. She kind of calms down. And we look for a very wide triangle shape here compared to the boy. And that's because she's gonna have eggs inside her tummy there, and she needs extra room. The boy doesn't need that much room. Okay, so that one is a girl, and that one is a boy? You got it, Flippy. Whoa, check it out. Wow, that is really cool. And I like acting like a crab. <laughs> Wasn't that so much fun learning about marine life together? Yeah, that was awesome. Seeing those cute fish and all those creatures. Wow, it's crazy how they live under the water and you and I live on the land. Yeah, it's really important for you and I to help keep the water nice and clean. Yeah, well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I, Blippi. Good job. All right, well, <laughs> I'm gonna keep learning. <laughs> Whoa, and it looks like there's a dino behind me. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> Do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? <laughs> yeah, it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex, or T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> they were really big dinosaurs, 40 feet long, 12 feet tall, <laughs> and lived a really long time ago. <laughs> I like T-Rexes because they have really big heads and really teeny tiny arms. <laughs> Let's go find some more dinosaurs. Ooh. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> We're here at a dig site, yeah, where we can dig up and discover fossils. <laughs> oh, good thing I have my trusty brush. Yeah, when you're digging up fossils, you don't wanna use a shovel or your hands. You wanna use a brush so it's nice and gentle because breaking a fossil could mean losing precious information for a scientific discovery. <laughs> yeah, we basically don't wanna break the fossils. Well, here we go. <laughs> Ooh, let's see what we can find. Oh, brushing away. 
<laughs> brush. Whoa! Whoa! Check it out! It's a fossil. <laughs> I wonder if this is a dinosaur. What kind of creature this could be? Whoa! Hmm. Whoa! <laughs> Check it out! Huh? Are those fingers? Whoa! <laughs> this looks really cool. Gotta keep brushing. Whoa! Did you know that people who work to study dinosaurs are called paleontologists? <laughs> yeah, I really like dinosaurs, but I'm not a paleontologist. Yeah, paleontologists, they know all about fossils and dinosaurs. Whoa, they study dinosaurs every day. <laughs> That's a lot of dinosaurs. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> It's a dinosaur bone. Whoa, it looks like we found a foot and we found the body. <laughs> I wonder what's over here. Oh, we're getting closer, we're getting closer. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Look, we found its face. Hello, <laughs> hello little dinosaur. Well, this isn't a little dinosaur. This looks like a big dinosaur. It looks like a Stegosaurus. <laughs> Hello, Stegosaurus. Whoa, that's awesome. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> this looks like a really, really big bone. But this isn't a bone, it's a fossil. Hello. <laughs> yeah, well, a fossil might look like a bone, but what happens is a bone falls on the ground and then dirt and mud covers it up. <laughs> then that bone decomposes, it goes away. But there's still that space where the bone was and sediment and different material fills it up and turns into a rock. And then a really long time in the future, <laughs> we find it just like this. And that's a fossil that scientists can use to learn about dinosaurs. <laughs> Whoa, check this one out. <laughs> this is a really small fossil. Huh, hmm, this doesn't really look like a dinosaur. Hmm, doesn't really look like a bone either. I wonder what it is. Ooh, I don't know what this is, but I bet if we ask, a dino expert can tell us. <laughs> hey, let's go find a dino expert. Hmm, I wonder what this is. <laughs> Whoa. I really wish I knew what this fossil was. Hmm, Ooh, I see someone, maybe they know. <laughs> Hi, I'm Blippi, what's your name? Hi Blippi, I'm Kevin, oh. and I'm a dino expert. Whoa, no way! It is so nice to meet you, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin's a dino expert. Maybe he knows what this is a fossil of. <laughs> Whoa, well Kevin, we found this fossil, but I don't know what it is. Oh yeah, I can totally tell you what this is. This is actually a tooth of an Edmontosaurus. Oh, a tooth? <laughs> Whoa, we didn't know what it was, but it's a tooth of an Edmontosaurus? That's right, yeah, that's this animal right here. Whoa, check it out! <laughs> the Edmontosaurus is so big! <laughs> oh, and look, it does have some teeth up there, and it looks like it has a duck bill. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> yeah, that duck bill was actually used to peck at leaves and pull them off the trees. Whoa, that is amazing. Huh, did it just eat leaves or other things too? Uh, no, this was an herbivore, which means it only eats plants. Whoa, yeah, some dinosaurs were herbivores. <laughs> that means they like to eat lots of plants, but others were carnivores. <laughs> they like to eat meat and some were omnivores. Yeah, that means they eat meat and vegetables and leaves and plants. <laughs> Whoa, oh, but this tooth looks like lots of teeth. Is this just one tooth? This is just one tooth. It looks like that because uh, this Edmontosaurus used to grind up its food to make it easier to eat. Whoa, <laughs> that's awesome. Hey, that kind of reminds me of a cow. <laughs> Whoa, that's a pretty cool Edmontosaurus. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. Its legs are so big. <laughs> Looks like it's really good at walking. <laughs> yeah, it is actually. It used to walk on all fours, but if it needed to get higher, uh, like to get trees, leaves off of the trees, uh, it would stand up on two legs to get more height. Wow, did you hear that? <laughs> it could stand up just like you and me or walk on all fours just like a little puppy dog. <laughs> Woof, 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 woof,
<laughs> oh, so silly. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, and I had one other question, Kevin. Yeah? Do all dinosaurs walk on the land? They do, actually. Oh. Yeah. Well, what about dinosaurs that fly in the air or are in the water? Those actually aren't considered dinosaurs. They're oh. called prehistoric creatures. Whoa, prehistoric creatures. Whoa. <laughs> Man, I really hope I can see a prehistoric creature one day. <laughs> hmm. Well, do you know of any prehistoric creatures? I do actually have another one right here. And you know what? He's a little lonely. He needs a friend. Whoa, check it out. It's a prehistoric creature. Whoa. <laughs> and what kind of creature is this? This one's a trilobite. Whoa, a trilobite. <laughs> oh, well, we need to find this trilobite a friend. <laughs> Well, thank you, Kevin, for showing me the trilobite and this amazing dinosaur. <laughs> this was so much fun. <laughs> I'll see you later, Kevin. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Let's go find a friend. <laughs> Whoa, there are so many amazing fossils here, just like our little trilobite. Hello. <laughs> yeah, keep your eye out. We might need to find him a friend. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> oh, there's a person. Maybe they can help us. Hi! Hi, Blippi! I'm Laura! Oh, it's nice to meet you, Laura! <gasps> Whoa, and what is that? This is a trilobite! A really big one! Whoa, look! We have a little small trilobite and a really, really big one! <laughs> it's so big! And I bet they're gonna be great friends! Oh, yeah! Hey! Good friends like to dance! Let's do the trilobite dance! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> These trilobites are really good dancers. <laughs> wow! This is a really amazing fossil. Yeah, and these trilobites, they lived underwater? They did! They are prehistoric arthropods, which means that they're related to bugs and crabs. Whoa! Did you hear that? This isn't a dinosaur. No, a trilobite is an arthropod? An arthropod! <laughs> Whoa! That is a really big name. It <laughs> is. But it just means that the trilobite is a really, really old bug. <laughs> Whoa! And check it out. Laura, is this a dinosaur? No, actually, this is a prehistoric marine reptile. <laughs> Whoa! A prehistoric marine reptile? So it's not a dinosaur? No, it's not. Dinosaurs lived on land, but there are other creatures that flew in the sky and swam in the sea, like yeah. this one. This is Tylosaurus. Ooh, hello, Tylosaurus. <laughs> hey, this is a Tylosaurus. This is a Tylosaurus. Yeah, <laughs> it's a Tylosaurus. Ooh, let's give it a name. We should call this Tylosaurus Tyler. <laughs> I think that's a great name. Hello, Tyler. Hi, Tyler. <laughs> hmm. And it looks like Tyler has a lot of teeth. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> and do you see? Tyler is really, really big. <laughs> he looks almost as big as a T-Rex. <laughs> he is. He's almost the same length as a T-Rex. You could call him the T-Rex of the ocean. Whoa, check him out. <laughs> Wow. He's really cool. Do you see that spot on his jaw that looks like a break? It's actually not a break in his jaw. It's a hinge. Tylosaurus could unhinge its jaw to swallow prey whole. Whoa. Did you hear that? Tyler can unhinge his jaw. <laughs> yeah. You've probably seen a hinge before. Yeah. A hinge goes like this. <laughs> Doors have hinges and Tyler has a hinge for his jaw so he can open up really wide. Woo! <laughs> to eat lots of yummy food. <laughs> well, thank you so much for teaching me all about prehistoric creatures. <laughs> I'll see you later, Laura. Bye. There you go. <laughs> okay, let's keep looking for some more dinosaurs and fossils. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, check it out! It's a Triceratops! <laughs> yeah, Triceratops were really big dinosaurs! <laughs> Look, they had three horns on their head. One, two, three! <laughs> and they were really big and really heavy! They could weigh as much as a truck! <laughs> That's over five tons! 
<laughs> hey, will you be a Triceratops with me? Okay, first you need three horns. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now, roar! <laughs> well, today was so much fun learning about fossils and dinosaurs with you. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Philippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>today we're here on the River Thames in London, England. And I am so excited because we're riding on a party boat where we can dance <laughs> and have tea parties. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be so much fun. We better go inside because it's a little bit chilly. <laughs> wow, this is gonna be so much fun. We're gonna go down the River Thames. Yeah, it's a really long river. It's actually the longest river in England. It's 214 miles long. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, and maybe we'll see some amazing sights all over the city. We might even get to go under some bridges. <laughs> so keep your eyes open. Wow, there are so many cool buildings to see when you're on the Thames. <laughs> yeah. Look at this building. Whoa, it's called the Walkie Talkie. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hello, Blippi. Hello, Blippi. <laughs> yeah. You know why it's called the Walkie Talkie? Look. Whoa, it's shaped just like a Walkie Talkie. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, and look at this building. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> it's so tall. Yeah, it's made glass and metal, and it's very triangular. <laughs> Whoa, and look over here. Do you see that? Yeah, that bridge right there is the London Bridge. Whoa, have you heard of the London Bridge before? <laughs> I bet you've heard the song, London Bridge is Falling Down. <laughs> I like that song too. There are awesome bridges. And speaking of bridges, I think I see a bridge coming up. Whoa. This bridge is really, really big. It's called Tower Bridge. <laughs> yeah, we're almost there. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's the HMS Belfast. Wow, that boat is a little bigger than the boat we're on now. <laughs> it's really big. Wow, and it's so many colors. Yeah, it looks like different shades of blue, light blue, dark blue, Gray? Whoa. <laughs> we made it to another bridge. Yeah, it's called Tower Bridge, and it is so big and so cool. Look at it. Tower Bridge has big towers, but it's also a bridge, so cars can drive over it, and boats can float under it. It's so tall. Yeah, and so beautifully built. It looks old with stones and flags. <laughs> Whoa! Look at it! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, and do you see that? Yeah, right there in the center of the bridge, it breaks. Yeah, there's two parts of the bridge. It's a bascule bridge. Mm -hmm. And that means that the bridge can open up <laughs> and make really a lot of room for if there are big boats, they can just sail through the center. Yeah, it's a bascule bridge. <laughs> it opens up. This was so much fun taking off from the dock 
and going down the River Thames. Hmm, but I think it's getting a little chillier. Yeah, it's pretty cold out. So let's go inside, see what's on the inside of the boat. <laughs> We're inside the boat, <laughs> yeah. And it looks like I'm still getting my sea legs. Whoa, <laughs> it's so bumpy, yeah. <laughs> hey, and look where we are. It looks like we're on a dance floor, yeah. There's some wood floors so you can dance on it. <laughs> and there are speakers. And it looks like some really cool lights to have a dance party, whoa. <laughs> But let's wait until it gets dark so all the lights look even better. <laughs> Wonder what's behind these two doors. Come on. Hello. Hi, can I come up there? Push again. Whoa. Looks like it's where the captain is. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Hello. Hi, what's your name? I'm John. John, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Blippi. I'm Blippi. <laughs> Oh, John, are you the captain of the boat? I am, yes. Whoa, this is a really cool boat you have. Whoa, and what's this right here? It's a steering wheel. Whoa, it looks really cool <laughs> and old. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Whoa, is it fun being a captain of a boat? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> would you like to have a drive? <gasps> Whoa, would I? That would be awesome. <laughs> Whoa, I'm driving and steering the boat. <laughs> So if I want to go to the left, do I just turn the wheel? Yeah, yeah, not too much, just a little bit at a time. Okay. Whoa, and now the boat's going to the left. And if I want to go to the right? There you go. Just a little bit at a time. <laughs> Don't want to go too fast. You can go a bit more that way to the right. Whoa. <laughs> I'm steering the boat. Whoa. John, this is awesome. <laughs> no worries. Whoa. And what do these up here do? These are your engine revs and speed and fuel and Whoa. navigation lights for when it's dark. Whoa, that's so cool. There are navigation lights if it's dark and it tells you how much fuel you have. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it's probably good that John is steering the boat. <laughs> He's a really good captain. <laughs> wow, well, thank you for letting me drive the boat. <laughs> no problem. I'll see you soon. See you soon, Blippi. Whoa. That was awesome! <laughs> we better let John, the captain, steer the boat. <laughs> we should go exploring. Let's go downstairs. Come on! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Look! It's the Cuddy Sark! <laughs> Whoa! It's so fast and big and so old! <laughs> yeah! This boat was one of the fastest boats of its time, over 150 years ago. Yeah, it was a boat that could do the China Tea Run. Yeah, it would take tea from China and it would trade. And it would also do the Australian Wool Run. <laughs> Whoa! It was so fast and it's so old. <laughs> Hello, Cuddy Sark. Whoa! Look at what it is! It's the Millennium Dome! <laughs> Whoa! And check it out! It has yellow towers. They kind of look like spikes. And the dome is the color white. <laughs> yeah, the Millennium Dome is a great place to go see concerts and to eat yummy food. <laughs> hey, do you know what a millennium is? Yeah. A millennium is 1,000 years. So they built the Millennium Dome in the year 2000 to commemorate a new millennium. Whoa! And it opened in 1999 on New Year's Eve. Whoa! It's so cool. It looks like it was really hard to build this building. <laughs> There, I'm Lippy. What's your name? Hi, I'm Josh. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Josh. What's this? This is your afternoon tea. Afternoon tea? <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks, Josh. Bye. Bye. 
Whoa, check it out. Afternoon tea. That sounds so delicious. <laughs> Woo. Whoa, there are so many cool things here. <laughs> Whoa, look over here. Look, there are scones, sandwiches, and sweets. <laughs> the three S's of an afternoon tea. Yeah, look, here at the top, we have some very colorful macarons. And the most important part of a tea party is tea. <laughs> we have our teacup, a spoon, and a saucer. <laughs> and a tea kettle with tea. <laughs> okay, it's time to pour the tea. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it looks so tasty. Yeah, have you ever had tea before? Whoa! Ooh, I'm gonna wait to take a sip because it's so hot from the hot water. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start with some tasty treats. Hmm. What should we try first? I think let's start. Hmm, maybe. Oh, I think I'm gonna start from the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Look, we'll take a scone and I'm gonna pull it apart like this. Yeah. And spread some clotted cream and some jam on it. Mmm, tasty. Okay, it's time to try. Mmm, mmm. Whoa. Whoa, this scone was delicious. <laughs> it's so tasty. <laughs> well, I'll just take a bite because we have so many treats to try. Hmm. Let's try a sandwich next. First, hmm, we can try a cheese sandwich. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh. Next. Do the cucumber sandwich. Ooh. <laughs> Yum! <laughs> Finally, I think this is the one. Whoa, a salmon sandwich. Whoa, look, it has cream cheese and salmon. Ooh. was delicious. We tried the scones and we tried the sandwiches. The only thing left are the sweets. I'm gonna take a spoon and take a little bite. Oh, time to try the sponge cake. Whoa, all the snacks at a tea party? <laughs> are so delicious. The only thing left for us to try is the tea. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so tasty. Mm, so refreshing. So delicious. <laughs> wow, I love having tea parties. So many yummy foods to eat and tea is so tasty and the best part about a tea party is spending time with your friends. <laughs>
If it's nighttime, I bet the lights inside on the dance floor will be perfect. <laughs> I think we should go inside the boat and do some dancing. <laughs> DJ, let's go. Play some music. So much fun learning all about boats. Woo! <laughs> yeah, we had so much fun today. We rode a boat and saw so many amazing sights in London. And I even got to have a tea party <laughs> with you. It was so yummy and amazing. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? Okay. B L I P P I Flippy. Good job. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Woo! Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout.